Welcome to Quill Sword Blogcast. Nine to zero, the Constitution wins. The United States Supreme Court just handed down a rare unanimous and per curiam decision in Col- the Colorado case attempting to remove Donald Trump from the ballot in which the court reversed the Colorado Supreme Court. Fancy words for the Supreme Court smacked the Colorado Supreme Court hard. Not only will Trump be on the ballot, the court in no uncertain terms told Colorado and the rest of the states that they do not have the power to determine who is allowed on a federal election ballot. The per curiam part is just Latin for by the court. Normally, decisions are authored by a specific justice. For example, the byline would be something like, Justice What's-His-Name for the majority when the court splits, or Justice So-and-So for the court when the court is unanimous. Having a decision authored per curarium is the equivalent of the court writing in all caps. Basically, it's the court saying the court has made its final decision, deal with it. Kind of like having your mom call your full name, a per curiam decision is a court, the court's warning that they are on the Supreme Court's last nerve, and they better get off it fast. Kagan, Sotomayor, and Jackson all wrote concurrences. Uh, that's a no- knock-it-off signal to the left. When all three liberal justices tell the liberal courts that they are wrong, it's a very big deal. That all three took the time to write individual concurrences mean they intend to shut this part of the nonsense down. The liberal media is having a cow, several in fact, but the justices weren't writing to them. The Supreme Court has put the entire judicial system on notice. Mom has had enough, and if you don't want to be going to get your own switch, you'd best straighten up and fly right, judges and prosecutors. For those of you too young to know what getting a switch means, just trust me, it's bad. The worst kind of parental justice, you get to think about the whole thing all the way outside and all the way back. Do not ever make your mom that mad. Are the lower courts smart enough to take the hint? Most are, and the few idiots will quickly get shut down. The decision is a solid piece of legal reasoning but its political ramifications are much more resounding. I'm no lawyer, so I could, of course, be wrong, but I think this decision crafted in this particular way is a warning shot that the Supreme Court has had quite enough of the insanity. Politically, having to decide legally questionable cases and having the courts clogged with egregious nonsense damages the Supreme Court. The Democrats don't have the power at present to pack the court, so they aren't much of a threat right now. But sooner or later, the Republicans will get hurt badly enough by one of these crazy cases that they will start thinking a constitutional amendment isn't such a bad idea. The Supreme Court's power is in its prestige. If both sides stop supporting the court, very bad things will happen. No, not tomorrow but way too soon, and the court knows it. It's time to get things under control. I think the court chose this case where the law is clear and the ramifications for the country if the lower court's decision had been allowed to stand are nothing but bad. I think the court chose this case to use to send a very clear message. Knock it off because you're not going to like our decisions if you keep sending us these insane cases. Now, that does not mean that it's all going to be, all the upcoming cases will go Trump's way. But I think it does mean the court has grown a bit of a spine. Self-preservation will do that to you. Be that as it may, today's decision is a resounding victory for the United States Constitution and the principle of being a nation of laws. Justice, not politics, is the final arbiter. The Constitution wins. The old gal is still the supreme law of the land.